KFNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. On this Thursday, the 27th of October, got another day to go to run another two sessions to go to wrap up the month. Now what we're looking at is the Dow is up 300 at 32,130s. This is really important because each day we've extended this leg, seen the Chapman wave. You can see the symmetry, the, I call it bar symmetry from the 32,504 high back in mid-September down to not the low because this is how you've got to choose. Sometimes it doesn't work exactly. You've got to find a, a different point and I have methodology for that. And it says within another day or two, we should be testing that 32,500 level. We've got already to 32,300s, and now we're pulling back. And the the S&P is down, actually, down 10. So there's a huge, and I've been talking about this for some time, saying that the Dow 30, it's not the Dow Industrials, it's the Dow 30, has been the leader. It's acting very well. You've got a, a pattern that's vying between the cup formation and the arch formation in the S&P. It went above the just above the Chapman wave inside wedge target resistance line and the res, and the repellent zone. Uh, we were up yesterday just at the 3890s. Here we are down at the 3819s, uh, pulling back in a leg C, maybe a peak C today. The QQQ has been very bad. Some some terrible. Uh, Earnings reports coming out, and of course today we also have Amazon. We'll talk about that in my show coming up. The target condition is out. 273.90 down over four points in the queues. The IWM was holding a little bit better. It's still holding a little bit better. Up 76 cents at 179.99 in leg C. Okay, here we go. Gold. Uh, gold is down uh, six points at 16.63. The dollar is actually rallying a little bit. Uh, it's running up 61 ticks at 110.32. Crude oil is, in fact, doing very nicely. It's up 61 cents again today. Trying to get out of this resistant repellent zone. We'll see what happens there. We'll talk about that in my show as well as also the TLT. TLT is pulling back a little bit. It's down 48 cents from the intraday high. But so far, it's had a really good uh, two gap ups and it's holding quite nicely at 96.93. I'll be back for the Tiger Traditions Hour in a few moments and check out my opening call, my daily newsletter. A lot of things going on there and we've had some really good trades. I'll be back in a moment for the Tiger Traditions Hour. I hope you can stay and this fabulous program. Of course, we start at nine with Tommy Jr. kicking off. Market kickoff is the show at nine o'clock. Fabulous show. 